Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're just going to look at comparing dimensions, and this is a very, very conceptual thing. Okay, there are three types of dimensions you, that you're going to use in geometry, and that is a linear measurement, and this is supposed to represent a tape measure, and this is the area. So let's say that that's your area rug, a rug covering the area, and then this is a can which contains the volume. Okay, the linear measurement, and I'm going to label that linear, is when you're measuring, let's say, to put trim in your basement. You want to put some trim around, you're going to make a linear measurement, oh, that's 10 feet long, and you cut it. Okay, for an area rug, you're going to have two dimensions. You're going to have a length and a width for a rectangular one, and you're going to find the area, which is two-dimensional. Okay? And then um, the last one is your third dimension, volume. A volume is what is contained in a space. So it is three-dimensional. So it's always taking a length with a height. Or in this case, since this is a cylinder, you take pi r squared, which is already an area of the base, times the height. So you take the second dimension and multiply it by yet a third dimension to get the volume. Okay, so those are the three basic dimensions in units when you're um, doing application problems. So let's say that you're doing a linear measure. Um, let's say it's in centimeters. You're just gonna, your answer would just be centimeters. But if it's an area and you find the area of something and you're writing your units, your units are always gonna be centimeters squared because you're doing it in two dimensions. Now for volume, you're gonna write your units as centimeters cubed because you're looking at three dimensions. So that's the concept behind comparing dimensions. There's a second video that actually talks about changing the measures from one to the other and how that ratio works. So linear is just a distance, straight distance in one dimension. Area is two dimensional. It's got length and width to cover an area. And volume is three dimensional, length, width, and height. And the units are always cubed. So you've got linear, area, and volume. Hope this video was helpful.